Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name's Jen, and I'm a self-taught nail enthusiast. And in today's video, I am finally reviewing the Beatles Gel, well, this is Beatles Gel Polish, but it's the Beatles Nail Tip and Glue Set. We'll talk about that little glue in a little bit. But basically, this is like a Kiara Sky ripoff or like dupe of the jelly tips. And we will get into all that in just a bit. So if you are just as excited as I am to uh, get into this little box here, then let's get started and let's get into the video. Okay. So, this is the Beatles kit that you guys have all been telling me that I had to try. It comes with a lamp, glue, and the tips. And I love this little box. I think it's super cute. Beatles actually has really cute packaging. I don't actually own anything from them, but they are a pretty well-known brand in the nail community. I have never really heard anything bad about them, to be honest. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this open and take everything out. There's no instructions or anything on the actual box. Um, they tell you to go ahead and read the application guide, which I will do. So again, it comes with the tips and these are coffin. They are full cover. They do actually have another kit that offers like the half cover regular tips. And that one's a little less expensive than this one. When I purchased it, it was $19.99 on Amazon. I checked their website today and it was $19.99. However, on their website, it says 50% sale from like $35.99, which no offense, but I just don't believe that. But anyways, so you get 500 tips and you get 10 sizes. And again, it comes in the plastic bags, which for 20 bucks, I'm really not that surprised. I wasn't expecting it to come in this like big fancy box. But I think the showstopper here is this little lamp. I have only seen other like knockoffs on like AliExpress of lamps similar to the Kiar Sky one. As some of you know, Evie, or Long Hair Pretty Nails, she released her video literally the day that I got this box in the mail. And I was kind of like so upset because I'm like, oh, she's going to get like a million views and I'm only going to get like 150. But anyway, so she said that Kiara Sky has a patent for their nail lamp, or at least she thinks that they do. Obviously this doesn't look exactly like it, but it gives you that two-sided entry to be able to do your nails. The other thing that comes in here is the nail glue. Now, on Amazon and on their website, it calls this a two-in-one base gel and nail glue. This is just a builder gel. It's not a nail glue. It needs to be cured in a light. Like, I mean, it's, it's, it's not glue per se. It's thick, just like a builder gel would be. It's got a little bit of a smell to it, but nothing too crazy. Other things to mention, it does not come with a primer. It does not come with a dehydrator. However, if you scroll down into the question area on Amazon, it's like after all the information of the item, but right before you get to the reviews, you can actually ask the seller questions. And there were a ton of questions on there asking if you could purchase things separately, or are these made out of gel, yada, yada, yada. They said, even though it doesn't come with primers, that it's encouraged to use them, that you should file the inside of these tips. Like basically any way that you would prep your nails, like any other like nail application kit, you should do with these nails. So I am gonna file them. I'm gonna do that off camera though, just to save us some time here. And the big question was, are these made out of gel? They're not. They said that these are acrylic, which basically just means like ABS plastic, which I'm totally fine with. Like it's, again, it's 1999. I'm not a, really expecting like soft gel tips. That doesn't bother me. I have other plastic nails. They come off with acetone. There is a quality difference, but as far as the wear and tear of the nail, I can't really tell the difference. Now, if I were wearing my nails for four weeks at a time, that might be a different story, but typically I like change my nails out every week and I don't really have any issues. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to just pick out my sizes, file the inside, and then I'll come back to start applying and we'll talk a little bit more about these nails. Okay, so all the nails are buffed and I wiped them and they're ready to go. 
One thing that I wanted to mention is that these do have a little bit more of a curve to them. I'm sure that it has a lot to do with the length of the nails. Somebody actually commented and it was a very helpful comment and I'm thankful that you did that. It was in response to someone else's question and she was basically stating that if you were going to use like a sculpted nail and apply it with just glue that you want to be careful. It may not hold as well if you were not using like the gel application method or the lazy girl method she's absolutely right if you're using like an ultra sculpted nail just keep that in mind these do have a bit of a sculpt to them when i place them against my finger and i know it's hard to see since they're etched now there's a little bit of a space not a huge difference these nails i feel they're more compared to like the e-nail couture nails they're a lot thinner than my appraised nails are something that i see a lot of people doing is when they check to see if they can bend a nail instead of like bending it like down the middle they go like this and yes it bends and guess what all my nails do that the reason that they do that is because the nail is designed to be a lot thinner at the cuticle area so that it has much more of a natural fit to your nails so it kind of like annoys me when people are like oh look the nails bend they're supposed to don't freak out if like you can bend your nails that doesn't mean that they're cheap quality or that they're bad quality it just means that they're properly made and they're thin enough at the cuticle area so just something to think about when i was reading the application guide it literally does not mention anything about like etching the inside of the nails using a primer and none of that it literally just says like prep your nails like buff them push your cuticles back whatnot and like get into like putting these nails on I don't suggest doing that. I absolutely don't suggest doing that. They're not gonna stay on. And the reason for that is because you have too much shine on that nail and it's not gonna adhere properly. Another thing that I thought was strange is that on Amazon, it describes this as a two-in-one gel, but in the booklet, it says it's a three-in-one gel. And it says that it can be used as a poly gel solution as well as the gel application method and a base coat. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I don't know that I would ever use something so thick to work with poly gel, but interesting. Another thing is that this lamp is automatic. So once you put your finger in there, it automatically turns on and it stays on for 60 seconds. So I have no issue with like letting it run. I, however, will not fully cure every single one of my nails in there because I would be here all night long. So I'm gonna just flash cure them like I usually do, and then I'll fully cure my hand in my big regular lamp. This is a five watt nail lamp, and let's be honest, this is like the showstopper with this kit. If nothing else, I bought it for the lamp. I don't know, I've been like eyeing some lamps like this on Amazon, and so, you know, when you guys told me about it and I saw that it had that, that's really the reason why I got it. So you guys know my process. I basically just put a little dollop of gel inside of the nail and then I go ahead and I scrape it in there. Okay, so you guys saw that it turned off. So you don't have to like keep unplugging it. If you did watch Evie's video, I don't think she realized that it did that. Um, and she kept like unplugging it and plugging it back in. I will say my one complaint about it is I don't think the cord is quite long enough. My desk is pretty small and I think if you had a bigger desk than I did and you were like, I'm up against a wall so my outlet is literally right in front of me. If you were trying to plug in any farther, I think you'd probably have some issues. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Also, it's a USB and they don't give you the plug. Nobody does anymore. They're pretty uh, cheap about those things. So you have to have a little plug to plug it into. So these are, oh gosh, y'all. There's always that one nail that I just put on Cricut every time. Oh my gosh. All right. Luckily, it's not fully cured, so I can take it off, but I'm just gonna, I'll move on to the next nail and I'll take it off after this. As far as removal, it's the same removal as any other nail like this. You just buff off the top layer and you can soak it in nail polish remover or you can do like the aluminum foil method where you put a little patch of like lint-free pad soaked in nail polish remover and then wrap it in aluminum foil. 
Uh, that I like to do because I like to be able to move around. I don't want to be like stuck with my hand in a dish. Like I said, I have other plastic nails and they just soak off fine, so I wouldn't be worried about that. Well, these are indeed soak off nails. I may or may not have put two fingernails on crooked and had to soak them off. So I've just been sitting here in the last 10 minutes making a mess, breaking a glass, you know, having a good night. Anyways, this nail glue, gel, whatever you want to call it, has a really fantastic grip once you put the nail on your finger. I noticed that you really only need to like hold it there for a couple of seconds and then you can let it go and it stays in place. No air bubbles. I'm pretty impressed with that. So let me show you. Go ahead and put this on and try not to put it on crooked again. Let's see. How are we doing? Looks good. I talked about the fact that they come in half covered tips, which please correct me if I'm wrong. I know you guys will. Are there any other brands that offer half tips? Obviously I know there are plastic half tips, but in a kit like this, do they come in half tips? I'm not sure. I probably should have done my research on that, but I think that's a pretty cool idea to offer that. I almost got them because I thought possibly with poly gel I could use them or even I told you I'm getting some acrylic or I'm really scared about that but I'm getting some acrylic in my nail boxy box. I, I don't work with acrylic. The only acrylic I've ever used has been cheap kiss kits and that was probably like 10 years ago at the least that I've used one of those things. I just... I never could get the hang of it and I don't know if it's just because of those kits or you know if I just suck at it but like I find gel to be so much easier and obviously I find putting on gel tips or nail tips and working on top of them even easier which of course it is personally I don't think you need to be a professional to do this another thing you guys realize that there are nail salons that offer these gel tip manicures and they're charging people like a hundred hundred and twenty bucks to do a manicure with this stuff, that is insane to me. You could literally buy a whole kit for less than that and do it at home. Granted, I know you're spending a little more time to do it, but like it really isn't that hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna do the rest of my nails and we'll be back to kind of chat on my final thoughts of this little kit here. Okay, unpopular opinion time. I'm kind of iffy on the lamp. This is the third time that I'm doing my ring finger and the reason is because I'm having a difficult time just putting like two or three fingers in the lamp and I'm like like I'm trying to adjust as I'm like putting it in the lamp. I am so used to using my big lamp like turned on its side where I just like stick my hand over there and I don't have to worry about it. Granted it's probably gonna make me go blind someday but it's a heck of a lot easier than this. Oof I don't know I don't know. I, it might just be that I'm cranky from doing this like 16,000 times or I just need to get a little used to it. This was a little better. What I've been doing, oh my god, it's crooked again. Okay, fourth time's the charm. Like I said, when I am putting my finger in the lamp, I'm like adjusting and I'm moving the nail around. I think that's like what's causing it to come out crooked. Now granted, they didn't all come out crooked, so it's just certain fingers that I'm having a hard time like trying to do it properly. Now I'm having a hard time because I have my nails done and that makes it difficult to put nails on. Try to do it like this. And I'm literally just curing it for like two, three seconds and like taking it out to see if it's straight. Thank you, baby Jesus. <sighs> Finally. So I'm not quite sold on this lamp. It's not my favorite thing in the world. And I'll tell you what, it's not like Kiara Sky's lamp. I'm gonna pop a picture of Kiara Sky's lamp on the screen and you'll see what I, the base of that is much flatter than this. This is very thick. So you have to like raise your hand up on top of like trying to just put in a couple fingers at a time. We're done. So like this part is really thick. So you kind of have to like lift up and then like, I don't know why, but my hands don't work properly and like my, other two fingers want to be like bunched up. I was having a hard time with it. I know that the more that I practice, the better I'll get with it. I'm gonna finish curing my hand, cure these all the way, and I will come back with my final thoughts. All right guys, so final opinions. I actually think this is quite a nice kit. I'm gonna start off by just talking about the tips themselves. I think they're really nice. I think they're nice and tapered. I'm probably going to end up cutting them down just a little bit. And even if I do that, I still think that the shape will need like minimal 
adjusting because they're so tapered i think it will still have that nice coffin length i actually think that they fit my nails quite nicely i did not have to reshape any of them the strange thing though is like the thumb actually has more of like a square base to it whereas the other nails are more rounded and that works perfectly for me because my thumb is more square so i think they're quite nice the tips themselves this nail glue three in one gel base coat whatever you want to call it i'm obsessed with i think it has a really nice grip when you are actually applying the nails so i noticed i didn't have to hold pressure to my nail as long as i usually do so i like that i think it's worth it as far as the lamp goes i think it's a nice lamp to have on my desk for flash curing I think my issue is I'm just not used to having to hold my nails into such a small space. I'm used to using my bigger lamp and just kind of like holding my nails, my hand like this up to the light. But I do like the fact that when I'm doing a more intricate look, I can just stick one finger in here at a time and just flash cure it really quickly without having to stick my whole hand in the lamp. I like that. So I did a price comparison for you guys to see what the difference between this kit and Kiara Sky and Appraise would be. Now, Kiara Sky is $119 for the entire kit, and I subtracted out $16 each for the primer and the dehydrator which leaves it at $87. The appraise is similar. It was $116 and $14 for the dehydrator and primers, and it came out to $88. So they're basically comparable. So in reality, you're spending like a quarter to a fifth of the price on this than you would on those. And quite frankly, I think that is a steal. Um, you do get 500 tips just like Kiara Sky and Appraise do. I don't think that I could complain at all about this. I don't mind that it doesn't come with a dehydrator and a primer because I have one myself. Actually, I have a few that I've gotten in kits and other ones that I've bought on the side. So I think there are plenty out there that you can get for an affordable price and they're gonna last you a very, very long time. So I wouldn't be worried if this is like a starter kit. Now, obviously these are not gel nails. That's the only difference if you are looking for gel nails. Some of you have mentioned that you can find them on like AliExpress and things like that for much, much cheaper than the price that you would pay for even Enel Couture, some of you are saying. So if you just want to buy this for the lamp and the gel alone, I think it's worth it. I had more issue than I would have if I wasn't used to using the bigger lamp. So I don't want to like poop on this too much, you know? I do think it's a good kit. I was being a little negative Nancy there because I was getting frustrated because I had to soak my nails off. But that's good news because I got to test off whether these actually are soak off nails and they are. So, you know, that's really all I have to say, and I hope that you liked this video, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if this is your first time here. Don't leave without subscribing. It's really easy. Just go down there and click that button, and hit that bell notification so you never miss a Manny with me. Bye, guys!